I want you to learn a valuable skill today. Okay. Okay. And I think it's something that you've attempted to learn while you're in the starting over house. It's something mm -hmm. that you've been kind of playing with okay. and kind of examining. You're mm -hmm. a very focused person. So the thing I want you to focus on today is support. Okay. But there's one little caveat to that. Mm. <laughs> I actually don't want you to talk to your boyfriend for a week. Vanessa has a very close relationship with her boyfriend. And basically, he is her world. And I want Vanessa to expand that world. Isn't that why she's in the starting over house? <laughs> okay. Why would I ask you to not talk to your boyfriend for a week? Because he's the only support that I ask all the time for. Okay. And what does that do to your self-esteem or self-confidence if there's only one person you ask for support? Well, if they're not there, then I lose all support. Exactly. Or if they don't agree with you. Right. And what do you think could happen if you had more support in your life? That you could actually go to more than your boyfriend for opinions and thoughts? Well, I'd have lots more ideas to do, you know. Um, it's hard to think just by yourself and with one other person. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd have a lot more, I think it would help to have a lot more support behind me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. Your support team. <laughs> Every single housemate in the Starting Over house is willing and ready to support Vanessa. But Vanessa hasn't allowed that to happen. She's been trying to connect through her head. Now it's time to connect through her heart. So today, besides calling your boyfriend and saying, love you, but got to go for a week. <laughs> okay. I've got to seek support for my housemates and myself. Mm -hmm. I want you to have an intimate moment with each housemate. Hmm. I'm gonna start with you, Miss Vanessa. Who do you know you need to say I'm sorry to? My mom. Your mom. Talk to me about that. Um, because I've had this anger towards her for something that she didn't even do. Or because I wasn't taking responsibility for my own. Angry at myself and responsibility for decisions that I made on my own. And you've been taking it out on her? Yeah. For a long time I felt like the choices that she had made had caused me to fail in the end of my gymnastics career. I feel badly that I made her feel bad about that because it really isn't her fault. It's uh, my choices that I made. Miss Cassie. Let's go, girly. Yeah, I'm ready. Cassie and me are going outside on the trail. Basically, what I want to discuss with her is just maybe things I might be missing um, that she give me good advice on. Since you've been here, at the starting over house for a long time. Um, I wanna know like what things that you have learned that you think would benefit me as far as like, you know, what I could do better and what maybe like realizations that I should come to. Hey. And that might mean, you know, maybe um, things that I might miss here that I don't wanna miss. Yeah. And that, Cause I think that you've learned a lot and that you've changed a lot. Thank you. Yes. Number one would be the self-image. Uh-huh. Um, and we all know where all that came from. Right. Was. Um, I don't know. What does, I thought you were talking <laughs> about. I know. Uh, oh, the shame. Yeah. Oh, shame. Okay. Well, tell me, yeah. Vanessa, what okay. do you feel about shame? Do you have? Well, yes, I feel like I have shame as far as my body is that it's not where it's supposed to be. I see a lot of you and me yeah. that way because, you know, it is, it is like the you badge of honor. You base yourself on what on, your past was. Yeah, That's hard. You are your past. Yeah. You know, so, and the shame mm -hmm. that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. It's a big shame. Right. Hello? Hi, baby. I need to tell you something. What? <laughs> um, my life coach said that I can't talk to you for a week. Really? Yeah. Because I, like, rely on you for support and I put too much on you all the time. Uh -huh. And she says it puts too much pressure on you and all that stuff, so... Um, I have to, like, try to get support from my housemates and other people. You call me later? No, this is the last time I can talk to you. Uh -huh. It's hard for me, it's not even hard for me to go to sleep without saying goodnight to him, so just missing him is going to be the hardest thing for me, missing, not talking to him for a week. I love you. Love you too. Okay. Bye. Me and Ryan.
that and they were talking about, you know, like how each person would be different as far as support and stuff. And I said, like, you know, you would be a good person to go for, like, true, honest, honest opinions and um, mm -hmm. constructive criticism. Also. This assignment is uh, difficult for me just because I'm uncomfortable asking people for support. You know, it makes me feel a little bit weak. You know, just uh, I don't, you know, like people helping me out, really. It's something I don't really like. Um, since we both have brothers, and um, I know, like, you just reconnected with your brother and stuff. Yeah. Um, and my brother, like, I mean, I see my brother all the time, but I feel like we're not close at all, you know, in a way. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Do you feel comfortable talking to him about... No. Okay. Nothing, like, serious. It can't Nothing. be serious. Or he, like, kind of shuts off kind of thing. You need to be clear about what you want out of your brother. He mm -hmm. might not be capable of um, communicating with you the way you want to. One, okay. he's a man, and it's not that he can't communicate, but he's at a certain age where he might not be capable of that. Right. Or, um, like you said, you're not very good at communicating your real, true feelings either. Right, exactly. I would take. I would encourage you to take the step of writing a letter to him. Or does he have an email? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. I will write a letter to him if you okay. find it hard talking to him in okay. person. I think he's just hard for him to talk and stuff because he's a really shy, shy person. And yeah. Stuff, so that's a really good idea. Okay. Well, maybe we'll be more receptive to that. Yeah. And, and then try okay. reaching out to him. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Uh, So let's talk about so far. Okay. Who have you seen and what have you done? Okay, well, um, first I went with Cassie and we went out for a walk. And um, I was asking her for support as far as like making sure that she tells me things that I can do better in the house and realize and just things like that, trying to notice things. And the thing that's funny is, you know, like I felt like she couldn't relate to me at all. And actually, like, I think we're really a lot alike now as far as like, she's a dreamer and I feel like I'm a dreamer. So where was your risk? Where did you take an emotional risk today with Cassie? Really like emotionally, I didn't really open up because because I thought that she would be a person that would be kind of brutally honest. So what would be an emotional risk for you with Cassie? I don't, that's like hard to say. It's like the only thing that I feel like I'm vulnerable towards is like the way that I look or asking someone about do I look, my weight, is my weight okay or something. That's something that gets me like scared to ask people's opinions and gets me vulnerable, but. And boyfriend? And boyfriend. Well, what, I, what do you mean? Well, I think all the ladies said that you kind of get defensive if anybody says anything about your boyfriend. Right. So it would seem that you're, that's an emotional risk for you to be vulnerable and actually talk about the things that you, maybe you, in every relationship, uh -huh. no matter how good it is. Right. There's things that you don't like. Right. That bug you. Right. And unless you have a safe place to share those. Right. It's going to keep building up. Yeah. So one of the ways that you can take emotional risks is by sharing things that kind of bug you. Mm-hmm share things with you that you're afraid of share things that you're annoyed by and your eyes are getting all <laughs> like what's going on over there I don't know. Mm, yes you do yeah you do i just don't like talking about them at all because <laughs> i feel like it's always bad all the time or something you know i never get to talk about the good stuff about them so it's you know i don't like well you can say the good stuff too well nobody's asking the good stuff you know but who gets to tell? I do. So who's in charge of the conversation? I, I... I don't know. I just feel like everyone's bashing them all the time. And, it's, and I just don't want, want it to go that way. You know what I mean? Just, what else? No, I just want to talk to Michael already. already. Mm-hmm. And? Well, I can't talk to and I don't know. <laughs> That's it. I'm just frustrated. Because you know? <laughs> it's it's just it's always you know it's like we're just talking about this as far as asking for support and then it's like well what about the boyfriend you know it's always the boyfriend's like okay. <laughs> well Vanessa, you have nobody else in your life. 